Before electronic calculators, people used abaci or abacuses and counting boards to do their calculations. In Japan, the soroban is still sometimes used in business and has recently been found to be useful in teaching arithmetic. Similar to the soroban is the Roman hand abacus used by the Romans over 1900 years ago. The Salamis tablet is a counting board style abacus in use by the Greeks since before 300 BC. The original was invented by the Akkadians around 2200 BC. We want to develop how to use an abacus naturally, as our ancestors might have. We take a clue from the Roman expression for to calculate, calculus ponere, literally to place pebbles. So here we have a pile of pebbles. Let's say I had two, four, five sheep. I had five sheep in my little flock and I bought 11 sheep from a neighbor. So I have two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven sheep from a neighbor. And so in total then I have this many sheep. Of course it's a little hard to figure out what I've got there because I have to uh, add them all the, every time. So what I might do is, uh, like a money changer does, segregate them into piles. So let's see, I've got two, four, six, eight, ten, plus two, four, five, plus one. So I've got ten, fifteen, sixteen sheep in my new flock. Well, you can see that um, this, uh, if, we, if we had a hundred, we'd have, we'd have to put a hundred up here, a hundred uh, stones or pebbles up here, and uh, we're going to get kind of unwieldy. So, what we're going to do is we're going to look at a sandbox here, which is my tablet and um, I'm going to draw some lines in my sandbox and effectively I'm going to call this the unit line and this is the tens line and this would be the hundreds line if I wanted to go that high um, and in the middle here I'm going to call this the five space and Correspondingly, this would be the 50 space. Um, so now what I could do is I could say, well, I've got one unit, and I put that on the unit line. And I've got, a f I've got five here, so I could put one stone on the five space and get rid of these stones. Put them back in our cache here. Now I've got ten more here, so all I have to do is put one on the ten line. So there, we've um, changed 16 stones into 3 in our representation. And these lines could be drawn in the sand and these pebbles placed in the appropriate places. Now if I wanted to go off and buy, um, uh, let's say I really um, want to expand my flock and I went down to the market and uh, to a rich uh, sheep owner and I bought a hundred, I want to buy a hundred and uh, thirteen new sheep. Okay, so what I'd have to do here to find out how many sheep I have, I would want to add one hundred and a ten and three. So this would be the 113, and to add it to what I've already got, I would just move the, the stones over like this. So now I've got 120 
5 plus 4, 129. So, 129. So that's basically how we add. Now, if I wanted to subtract, so new operation here, if I um, took some of my older sheep, let's say, and sold them for to the meat merchant for uh, mutton, uh, let's say I I'm going to sell, which is take away from my flock, um, 11 sheep. So, um, what I could do is just plain take the 11 away, okay, but then I don't really have a record of how I did the calculation. So what if I leave this here? but instead I've got to subtract 11 sheep. So let's put a bar down here, draw another line in the sand and extend these bars and now on the left what I'm going to do is show what I'm going to take away. So I'm going to take away 1 and 10. Okay. So now this is effect, these uh, stones effectively, effectively represent a negative number, minus 11. So I can see that on each line a negative 1 and a plus 1 cancel. And here they cancel. So I'm left with 115, 60, 70, 18. 118. We basically got now um, the structure of the uh, the Salamis tablet grid and what I've just shown you here is that this side is represented as is representing positive numbers and this side is representing negative numbers and so we can do addition and subtraction quite easily with this method. Taking another clue from the Romans they use subtractive number representation and for us it's going to save space on the counting board especially on each line or uh, space between lines. Uh, for the number 4 the Romans wrote this as IV which meant 5 minus 1. Writing the number 9 they wrote IX meaning 10 minus 1. Sometimes Roman numerals were used to represent 3 um, as IIV or 5 minus 2 and 8 as IIX meaning 10 minus 2. We'll use these two as well because they, it helps uh, save space. So let's put the number 419382 on a counting board. So the first digit is a 4 so I'm going to put um, 5, 5 minus 1. So now I don't have another line up here, but um, you can see that this is going to be in the space between this line and the one above, and so this is 4. Then on the next line I put 1, and on the next line I want a 9, but we're going to place that as 10 minus 1. So here's the minus 1, but I have to go up to the next line above to put the, the 10. Okay, so that's the 9. And then on this line I want 3, which I'm going to place as 5 minus 2. Okay, and then I want 8, which is going to be a 10, I want 8 on this line, so I'm going to make it 10 minus 2, so the minus 2 goes on this line, but the 10 goes up here. And then finally, I'm going to put 2 on the bottom line. Okay, so here's our number. In our next episode, <coughs> we'll do a mixed addition and subtraction uh, example taken from Kojima's book, The Japanese Abacus. Uh, Japanese abacus being the Soroban. And I think we'll do um, this example here. It's mixed addition and subtraction.